I'm struggling mentally, but I am pushing. <clears throat> they raised my medication, which has helped me to be a little bit more lucid. But again, my problem is not psychosis. My problem is abusers. Narcissistic, manipulative, abusive people in my life that will not leave my life. So here's the thing, like, here's a scenario, right? Imagine you're a mother and you have two children and the older one lies to the younger one to upset them. And the younger one runs crying to tell mom what was just said, to find out what really happened. And the older one, of course, comes following. She's lying. She's lying. She's li It's all lies. It's all lies. Well, yes, the younger child is lying because the older child lied. It's not that the younger child is lying for no reason. The younger child is not upset for no reason. But the older child is also not lying when they insist that the younger child is lying about what they're saying. <clears throat> That's essentially the, the situation I'm in, except at this point, the older child is almost 70. My aunt might be over 70. I don't know how old my fucking aunt is. Um, I know my grandmother had her first child when she was 15, and my grandmother would be nearly 90 now, so that child would be almost 80, and Kathy is the second, so she would be pretty close. Like, I don't think she's that much younger than her older sister. Not that it matters whether she's 60 or 70 or 80. She's far too old to be playing these childish, manipulative games. She is the one that made the video at my brother's grave. She is the one that took the apple juice. She's the one that made the post. She's the one that said she was doing these things. All I did was believe her and be upset because I believed what she said she was doing. If she had not said that, I would not have been upset, but it, it makes you question what else is she lying about? What else has she lied to you about? Because everything she says to me is a lie. And then if I repeat it because I'm upset by it, well, she, it's a lie because she wants to make it look like I'm the one lying when the reality is she is lying. Not only does she have more of a responsibility to be honest because she's older, she's a grandmother, she's a mother, she's an aunt. She should have enough dignity in herself to be an honest woman, right? That's what you expect from a woman of that age. You expect them to have grown out of the childish, manipulative, abusive behaviors of childhood long ago. They were supposed to grow out of that while they were raising their children because you can't stoop to the level of being a child while you're raising a child or your child's never going to be raised. It's just going to remain a child like you, right? That's why we have 70 year old children in our families because people didn't raise them. Your mom tried to raise you, Kathy. She just did a really bad job because she also had been abused and did not know what she was doing. For generations, the women in our family have moved along, having no idea what we were doing, being abused and mentally staying children, and then raising children who mentally stayed children. I'm trying to grow up. I'm schizophrenic and bipolar and I have PTSD and it's very difficult especially when my elders are actively lying and manipulating me to keep me in that childlike state 
of what's real. Is anything real? They're trying to push me to kill myself. They're mad that I speak out too much and they're afraid people will hear me. And I know some people say that they'll eventually go away. This has gone, for, this has been my entire life. I mean, I know Adonis Paul joined five years ago and he might eventually stop, but my family, my, my family that has been doing this to me my entire life, my aunt that raised her children to call me garbage and to disrespect me when we were children, that kind of behavior has existed in my life since the day I was born in a car. And it's not going to stop. I'm trying to ignore it, but it's hard to ignore when she has thousands of supporters and followers backing her up in her lies, making me feel overwhelmed and hopeless and like, I'm never going to be heard. But I know that time changes most things. If I just keep pushing and keep gaming and keep reacting, people will begin to watch. I had 2,000 subscribers on my other channel. I had a whole lot of content. I'm going to start pumping out the content I mean, pumping it out rapid fire and filling up this channel so that when people do find it, they might stick around for a little bit, long enough for me to feel like I have some people on my side here. My aunt is lying. She is the lying older sibling that hurts their younger sister and then starts yelling they're lying when they run for comfort. I just need people to know that, to be aware of that, to, to see that. Because as the younger sibling in the situation, it, it, it doesn't feel seen and it feels so very unfair I'm supposed to believe what she tells me. She is my elder. She is an adult relative in my life. My entire life, I have been supposed to believe what she tells me. She's not supposed to be the one lying intentionally to hurt me and filling my head with things that are not true just because she wants to see pain. That's abuse. That's a, that's, that's a clear sign of abuse. The both abuse that she's experienced to cause her to do that and abuse that she is projecting onto me because she needs to hurt somebody because she's always been able to hurt somebody when she was upset. The abuse in my family has gone on for generations. And if nobody ever speaks out about it, it will continue for generations.